Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the various concepts in data science by practicing a lot of questions. Okay, so in this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code, which is based on actors and directors who cooperated at least three times and try to walk you through how we can develop queries in such problems. This question has been asked in Amazon before. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and read the question. So we are given a table called actor director with three different columns, actor ID, director ID, and timestamp. All these have data of data type integer. Timestamp is the primary key column for this table. Okay, so primary key means non-null unique values. Now we are asked to write a SQL query for a report that provides the pairs actor ID, director ID, where the actor has cooperated with the director at least three times. Okay. Return the result table in any order. Okay. So let's go through this example and see uh, what the output should be. So actor ID, director ID, timestamp. So actor ID 1, 1, 0. So since 0, the third column is basically the timestamp or the primary key so if you see actor one and director one so they have cooperated how many times one 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 so three times actor one has cooperated with director two two times and actor two has cooperated with director one two times so since it mentions at least three times uh, the actor where the actor has cooperated with director at least three times so what it will return one one because actor one has so in this given set of records actor the actor one has cooperated with director one at least three times or three times right so that is what is would be returned okay so let's go ahead and try to build this query so basically if you think about it uh, about the logic we need to find or basically we need to group by these actor IDs for each of the actors, how many times the, they have interacted with the director and only keep those rows where uh, that number of interaction is three or greater than three, right? So let's start. So from the actor director table, so this actor director table, what do we need to do is group by actor id and then director id and only keep those rows where the count of timestamp or basically where the number of interactions are number of interactions or number of cooperations are at least three okay so basically what it is doing is that so let's take this example right so since in this entire thing we have two actors actor one actor two so firstly what it will do is actor one then for directors we have director one director two right so for actor one director one it will count three right zero one two so these these are the three different timestamps then for actor one director two it will count okay so two for actor two director one it will count two and since we are only keeping where the number of cooperations are at least three so it will only keep actor one director one and the three value right and then what we need to return the actor ID and the director ID. So basically just return the actor ID and director ID. Cool. And why did we use having here and not where? Again, we can filter results either using where or using having clause. But since here we are uh, filtering results based on some aggregate value, so you have to count something and then compare it uh, with a number. 
so in this case we will have we need to use having okay so let's go ahead and run this and see if it gets accepted or not so yeah this is accepted and our output is same as expected output let me submit it and see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases and is and it is accepted so this is how we solve this question so yeah uh, let me know if you guys found this video useful and till then i will see you guys in the next video